Hey, Shalom and Markins, we come back apart from GMS London, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashev Chachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hope for what expression is truth and all sincerity. Yeah, back again with another video. And you know, these uh, these guys, you know, <laughs> what can you say in it, man? They're, they're, this year's been a, you know, these last couple of years have been, a, you know, a lot of bug outs, man. And these these guys up there with amongst the strongest contenders for bug out of the year, and um, <laughs> along with, with along with the Mississippi misfits, right? Um, this is just way way off, man. And and they they're so delusional uh, and carnal, and uh, you know that they they think themselves to be men of the Lord. They think they're on some next spiritual level. They they they're somehow so deep. Um. You know, but the scripture speaks about um, yeah, not not thinking more of yourself than you ought to, man. And these were you know little you know fledglings in this truth. They they they're saplings in this truth, man. And yet they proclaim themselves to be on the highest level. You know, even the the, the top guy here, uh, I guess I should call him a Shana, right? Because that's how he, that's how he wants to you know do deal with the Hebrew now, um, which you know is something else that he's changed. Um, Calling himself the, the the head guy, right? And I'm just like, what? <laughs> you know? And um, I don't want to make this video too long, man, because there's, there's something, you know, I was watching this video. Uh, I think I watched uh, an hour in, you know, times one, uh, you know, at one point time speed. Because obviously I wasn't going to sit there and watch the whole hour. It's things like three hours or whatever. Right, and the first hour before they even got into any of their their teachings, <laughs> man was going on a rant for a whole hour, you know, about being carnal. And you know, essentially, he's just being carnal, uh, talking about his woman. People were jealous of him, and and all this kind of crazy stuff. Right, tokens, <laughs> tokens of virginity, and all kinds of shit. You know, man was jealous, and yeah, I just wanna, I'm 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 really about about that life, and you know, you know, I can't wait to get hands on you and punch 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 you dudes up and that kind of stuff. I was like, that was for a whole hour, right? Before you even got into your wacky teachings, you know. And no, no one, no one, no one in GMS is is, is following you, man. <laughs> you know, and if if there is, right, they ain't they ain't a part of GMS, man. It's <laughs> just straight up as that, man. They ain't in this truth at all, you know, because you you you've left so far from what you know the things you were taught, man. You this this this, this doesn't. Resemble the gospel at all, not even in the slightest, man. You ain't got no names. You got your geography's all fucked up. <laughs> you know, it, it, nothing resembles this truth at all, man. Ain't nobody from GMS following you, man. Okay, you in your own little fucking world right now, man. You know, those four guys you got with you may be the only four guys that are listening to you. <laughs> you know, just like the Mississippi group with it with the new uh, uh, agnostic uh, gnostic gods. You know, it's like who's listening to that? Who who believes that? Who's believing in that? Nobody that's learned any scriptures ain't believing in that. I tell you that for 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 for, for, for nothing, you know. And you know, you talking about fighting and stuff, and bro, nobody wants to fight you, and it's not because we're scared. <laughs> we're not here to fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, we're not here to fight. We're not here to 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 puff out our chest and 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 tell everybody how how mighty we are and. And, and all this kind of business, okay? With 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 teachers, man, we're disciples of the Lord to teach, and that's what we want to do, man. You know, as much as you, you're you're the one with with the issues, because you can't you you can't take the disrespect because you're feeling you're being disrespected because, you know, you're getting rebuked, you know, and and things are coming out about you, and you you know, so you wanna you wanna act all carnal, well, that's not the spirit of the Lord, man. You know, trying to defend yourself. You know, you know, through carnal means, just because you, you know, you don't like what's being said about you, man. You know, shit. People, people talk shit about bros in GMS all the damn fucking time, man. We ain't going around or, or you know talking about, oh, I'm not gonna get the hands on on, the, on this student and fuck him up. No. You know, shit. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe you have, you know, you talk about, oh, I'll calm down now. Maybe you have calmed down. But you still carnal. <laughs> you still carnal, man. You know? And so I don't want to make this too long, man, because 
I just want to really get into the point of it, right? And I'll start here in Romans chapter 8, verse 5. It says, um, For they that are after the flesh do, do mind the things of the flesh, right? But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, right? It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritual, spiritually minded is life and peace, right? So on one hand, you're talking about how you're so deep and spiritual and you, you can see all these different things and... And you know you're just rewriting everything because you can see because you can see better than everybody, right? You speak you see spiritually better than everybody, but you, you're acting more carnal than everybody, man. And albeit, yeah, you ain't maybe put no hands on nobody yet. That you're you're imagining these things a lot, obviously. <laughs> Where but these things don't even come into our mind, you know. But you really want to do that. That's what that's really what is in your spirit, man. It's not that you're spiritually deep. You know, you you just think you are because you you deluded. You know, but you, the fact that you spoke about that for a whole hour before you even got into any teachings, man, it just shows you, man, that you're just kind of emotional, emotionally hurt, <laughs> emotionally damaged. You know, Ch you know, you're trying to trying to trying to trying to boast boast yourself in in your combat arts, and you know that you can fight, and I've got scars, and I've got this, and I've got that, and you know, if I see your brother on the street, I'm going to punch him up and all, all this kind of business. Like, what, what, what is this, man? You know? You have a carnal mindset, man. Because you feel like you got to justify yourself and defend yourself because cause you're, cause your pride is being hurt. You know? All, all the guys out there, all these camps and all these different people that are, that, that are slandering us, man. What, what are we doing about it? Nothing. All we're doing is we're letting the Lord deal with it, man. We we go out there on highways and, and byways still and and teach. Right, we do our videos. We teach, man. That is that is what we're doing. You know, and you trying to use scriptures to justify, you know, attacking people and stuff. Yeah, but none of those were women in, in the truth. Yeah, you're talking about attacking men, the Lord, right now. All right, there's a, there's a difference. Right, so you're, you're unskillful in these scriptures, man. All right, but anyway, carry on here. It says verse seven because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of God. You're, you're a law unto yourself, but you do what you fuck you want to do. All right, neither uh, indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. Okay, you you think this 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 thing that you're doing, this this doctrine you got, you think it's pleasing to the Heavenly Father? You think that's this is the truth? That's the truth? What you got? Don't you just made up? You think you got some sort of deep revelation and that's the truth? No, man, you've been deceived by Satan, man. You know, through your own lusts. All right. Um, so, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most side. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man had not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. And if the anointed one, Yahweh Shai, be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But the spirit of him that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Yahweh Shai from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Um, I think I'll say it also. I want it in here. We are actually down to this part here, right? So, verse 15, for we, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, it so be that we suffer with him, suffer with him. So we got to suffer all this bullshit that, you know, People speak about us and trying to do to us. That includes fucking, you know, from you as well, man. You're the one trying. You're threatening. You're, you're the one threatening us, right? You're threatening people. You know, we got to suffer that. So we, you know, if you if you was really about that life, if you was really about this truth, right? Then you would suffer. You would just take it, you know, and concentrate on what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, even though you got some wacky doctrine, obviously, but you know, we're not out here to be to be um. Avenging ourselves and 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 you know justifying ourselves in that manner. 
Okay, but you've always been like this. You know, and like I said, you say you calm down and that you, you know you'd be you you'd be a lot worse and and all this kind of stuff because you're just that mad guy. You know, you, you speak like you're the fucking mightiest one in fucking in Israel on the fucking planet. You know, but bar one by your by your by your 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 friend. You know, because he he's on your level, <laughs> whatever, right? We're not. I hate to be tough guys, man. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Hey, hey, I tell you this, right? Win or lose in a fight, I don't care. Yeah, no win. Lord delivers all my enemies into my hands, but but I don't care about winning no fucking fist fight, winning or losing no fucking fist fight. I'm trying to win the approval, the mercy, the love of Yahweh Shai, man. That's what I care about. Okay, that's what we should be caring about, man. I don't give a fuck about no fist fight, man. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't a fist fight, right? Brothers will defend themselves, right? That don't mean brothers are not gonna get punched up. It's, it could, it can happen. It's happened, right? That's maybe just a test for them to, to deal with, to deal with you know their pride and stuff like that. You know, maybe they, maybe they, they, they were you know being completely straight with the Lord, and the Lord decides you know give a little bit a uh, little bit of chastisement. It can happen, man. It don't mean shit. Yeah, it don't mean you're not a man, Lord, because you got hands laid on you and all that kind of stuff. It happens, man. So you think I care or we care about a fucking fist fight? Cause you cause you want to prove that you're mightier than everybody else. That no one should fuck with you because you're fucking a mighty man, supposedly. Well, we see when Esau's troops run through, innit? If you're if you're still mighty. You know? Because this is not a carnal thing. And this is this is the thing with us, man. We ain't carnal men. Yeah, sure, sure, some brothers get heated in the heat of the moment. Yeah, of course. Okay, but we 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 act restrained because we know what this is about. Yeah, we know what this is about, and it's something you never you've never been fully able, able to grasp. You know. Anyway, let's move on. It's Second uh, Corinthians chapter ten verse three. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay, man, are talking about how how are you gonna. Give man liver shots, in a, you know, man was throwing, throwing straights or jabs or whatever. And man was talking about liver shots, <laughs> you know, you know, trying to put his, his skills on display, you know, you know, which, you know, whatever, man. <laughs> For the weapons of warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most side to the putting down of strongholds, right? This is about the power, the power we possess is in this truth, right? It's not in our own bodily functions, but it's not in our biases. <laughs> <laughs> not in our biceps, it's not in our in our uh, in our in our craft maga <laughs> or MMA and nothing like that. The power is not in those things, right? The power is not in those things, right? It's in this truth, in this word, right? Um, it says uh, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience, right? So we're ready, you know. When it when it truly is hunting season, yeah, we're ready in it. When Yahweh Shai returns, we're ready. We're ready for his return, right? And we'll do all that he commands us to do, man, in taking down these heathens. We're ready, right? When Yahweh Shai returns, right? But it speaks here when your obedience is fulfilled. And what are we tasked to do right now? To teach this truth, man. Not to avenge ourselves. The scripture speaks about not avenging ourselves. I think I might even have that here in my precepts, right? We're not here to avenge ourselves for all the things wrong, you know, all the wrong things done to us and, and all that kind of business. We're not here for that. The same way Yahweh Shai, when he when he first came, he didn't come to, to bring judgment. Okay, we're still in that time where we're not here to bring judgment. Okay, we're here to uh you know bring this truth to to, to the elect so they can repent. Okay, we're still in the repenting stage, man. We, you got, you got time and opportunity to repent. And so we're out here to teach repentance unto the elect of Israel. Right, that's what we're out here to do. Okay, obviously we're going to warn and tell our people what's going to happen if they don't repent. And the same to these heathens that, you know, they're going to be judged by the Heavenly Father for the things that they've done. But we're not here to bring judgment against them. Okay, that's not our role right now. Okay, we're not given the power, the authority to do that. Right, but the time will come for that. All right. But we're here to we, we fulfill our, our obedience, man, which is, is to to teach. Okay, that is to, to suffer, to be patient. These things we you know, that's our part of our obedience. 
things that we were commanded to do. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5. It says, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not <coughs> your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. And that's what these guys are, man. These guys are reprobates that could never examine themselves, man. Okay, they, they, they just ran off of every, any fantasy that came into their mind that Satan, you know, put in their minds, man. And they just kind of ran with it, man, thinking that they're fucking super deep. Right? But it says here, examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Now, to be in the faith, it means you, you, you're a part of something, right? You came under something, right? Beginning about elders and apostles, and just like the, the disciples, the apostles back then, they came in to the faith. They came into the teachings that they were taught and remained faithful and true to those teachings. They continued in the apostles' doctrines, as the scriptures say. You now, now you, you decide to do whatever you want to do with these scriptures, you know, and mold them into your own thing. That's not staying in anything. You, you, you created your own thing. You didn't stay in the faith. Okay, but you went to you're supposed to be examining yourself whether you be in the faith. Are you continuing in the things you were taught? And the answer is no. You're like the guy that's got the most left. Like I said, you're, you're a strong contender with bug out for the year. You know? Because you just changed everything, man. You, you didn't stay faithful to anything that you was taught. You're not men of faith. Okay, you wavered, man, on the on the on Heavily, you wavered. These are not men of faith. What these men believe in is themselves. And that's not gonna, you know, that's not gonna hold out. Faith in faith in yourself ain't gonna hold out, man. You can you can trust in your in your, your carnalities and that kind of stuff, but they ain't gonna last long in this world, man. This world is, is done. Okay, you're gonna find you're gonna come up short believing in in yourself. Alright. But like I said, these guys are just, they're just reprobates at the end of the day. <laughs> Check this. I got reading down, right? Is I'm going to go to verse, verse 9, right? It says, for we are glad when we are weak. This guy don't want to be weak. This, this guy don't want to be seen like he's weak at all. <laughs> he want to avenge all losses. <laughs> If he can't avenge all losses, you know, spiritually, man, he's he gonna avenge all losses carnally. <laughs> you know, he wants to get the get back. You know, but we ain't the night to him. You know, we've just rebuked him. That's it, and, and the rebuke hurts. Man, don't want to accept rebuke. You know, and you, you can say that our oh, brothers ain't got it straight with certain, you know, accounts or stories about him or whatever. But bro, at the end of the day, man, you're still going off in it. You're still going off, man. You know, like I said, I don't, I don't know these these stories and all this shit first time. I don't know shit like that, right? But I can just I, just, I see you, I see you and what you're teaching, and and the shit you're teaching is bugged out, man. Like, where did this truth come from? It, it can, you're the source of this of this fucking doctrine, man. <laughs> you never learn it from nowhere, and like I said, you're just a sapling in this truth. Well, you're not in the truth, but you, 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 you was just a sapling in this truth because you're not in GMS no more, <laughs> right? But now you're you're magically the head guy, just like all these other bug acts. They just become the heads. They just make themselves heads, you know? Change the doctrine, make themselves the head, and now they, you know, they're getting, you know, a certain respect from certain people that believe you bugged that shit. And then, you know, that must be all you want, in it? Because... It must be what you want. What you want must be from the world. It must be fat in the world then, because you're you're not getting no respect from Yahweh Shai. You're not getting no respect from up on high. You know. This is um, for we are glad when we are weak and ye are strong, and this also which, even and this also we wish even your perfection. All right, so next precept is Je Jeremiah chapter nine verse twenty three. Said thus says the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the might, neither neither let the mighty man glory in his might, right? which is something you, you sit there boasting as part of the first introduction hour of your of your lesson, 
you know how how you know things how how you how, you, how, you, how people are asking you coming up to you asking you oh yeah you teach me this you know how to how to throw this and and that yeah you're trying to really put yourself on that level man you know as if you're some some fucking mighty warrior and yeah maybe maybe you are compared to me or or other brothers or maybe you are <laughs> fuck who cares right <laughs> who cares right but is is that what we're supposed to be sitting there doing like you know boasting ourselves in 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 in, in our incarn in carnality no that's not what we're supposed to be doing you know but you know it feels good to you to be able to do that i guess makes you feel you know it keeps your ego inflated you know because <laughs> the only thing bigger than your body, bigger than your arms, because you make, <laughs> you mentioned about the arms thing, right? The only thing bigger than your arms is your fucking ego and your head, man. You know? Well, hey, this is what happens when you know people don't don't learn, man. They don't they don't sit there and listen and, and take in this knowledge properly. You know what I'm saying? They don't learn the fundamentals of what it is to be in this truth. Okay, so thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let, let, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Right, which you know, like I said, these things are going to come short. Those people that, that, that believe or have faith in their, their own abilities, right, they're going to fall short in the end of the day. Right, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory, glory, if glory in this, that he understandeth, which you don't, and knoweth me, which you don't. And say, so you, you know, you change your Howard Shire's name to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I can't even say what he said. I can't remember what he said. Right, you know, you change the whole Hebrew, so everything just sounds different now. It's not it's not even correct. You know, because I guess you got some revelation of how it's truly spoken and whatever, right? I, know, I guess that's how it is. Um, right, so you don't understand and you don't know, know him, right? That I am the Lord, which exercises loving kindness. So where's yours? <laughs> Judgment and righteousness in the earth for in these things i delight saith the lord right so behold the days come saith the lord that i will punish all them that are that are circumcised with the uncircumcised and egypt and judah and edom and the children of ammon and Moab and all that are in the utmost corners that dwell in the wilderness for all these nations are uncircumcised and all the house of israel are uncircumcised in their hearts right they ain't right with the lord Okay, it's Romans 12 and uh, 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. Okay, yeah, so I had that precept here, right? <laughs> right, but he wants to, he really does. He, he convinced himself that you know he's, he's been given the okay to do these things if the opportunity presented itself, bro. If any of us saw you, and not, like I said, not because we're scared, man, but if any of us saw you, man, we wouldn't do shit to you, you know, and if we happen to, 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 to. You know, lock eyes and you, you know, saw, you know, saw each other and that, man. We'll just probably just talk to you, man, and tell you, you know, you're going off. That's probably about right, as much as, you know, as far as it would go, man. Unless you wanted to start something, you know, which decides like, you know, you got, you got, you know, feelings to do that. You know, but, you know, we wouldn't do shit if we saw you on your own or whatever, you know. Cause that's not that's not what this thing's about, man. Okay, we're here living as as, as peacefully as, as 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 possible, man. Okay, amongst our enemies. Yeah, that takes great restraint. You know. But hey, you do what you're doing in it. You know, if that's if that's you know the spirit you think you're supposed to be in, whatever in it. <clears throat> All right, so dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Right? And this is the thing, we're waiting for the Lord to avenge us, man. Okay, we, we don't we'll be able to take vengeance for ourselves. Like I said, even if we like, for instance, you know, say, say if there's people that we hate out there, you know, fucking with us and shit at work or whatever, and we just fucking decide to, you know, smash a man up, like, How's that going to really benefit us at all, man? We're not going to gain the kingdom out of doing that. Okay, we're not going to better our situation. All that's going to do is, is, is temporarily, you know, boost your ego and your pride. 
make you feel good for for that little moment that it, that it, that, it, that it lasted, you know. But then Esau, he Esau, you know, and these people out here, right? What they can do is so much, so you know, so much worse, you know. After after the fact, you know, man can bring you up and charge you, man get the police involved, and now you. You, you know, you go in jail for this and that, or you lost your job. Or, it's, it's, it's not, it's all not worth it. It really isn't. Okay, when you just really sit there and think about it, it's not worth it. You might as well just wait to that time. Okay, when, when this place is our world, then we could do what we want to do to them according to the law and, and get revenge and, and justice. We, we could do that then. Here, you're not going to get that. And anything that you, you know, Satisfaction you might get is going to be very, very short-lived, man. And then you're going to be filled with full of problems, man. This is how it is in this place. All right? So we wait upon the Lord to avenge us, man. Bring vengeance for us. Uh, so therefore, if thy enemy hunger, feed him. If he first, give him drink. For in, in so doing, thou shalt heat coals of fire on his head. <laughs> you know, so being nice to you guys, man, would actually make things worse for you. <laughs> because, you because you look to do us harm. Right, so be not overcome of of evil, but overcome evil with good. And these guys just ain't gonna be on that, man. And this this rebuke, man, all these rebukes, all these brothers out there that are rebuking, rebuking the shit out of you right now, that's all love, man. Because hey, if you turn from your wicked ways, then that's that's good. We'd be happy for that. But you know, when you see some of these guys like you, you just far gone in it, and you just think, oh man, I, this guy ain't never gonna wake up, man. He ain't never gonna receive this. But no. Like we say before, we've got a duty to um, warn others, man. Right? Warn others of the madness that, you know, you got guys like you are, are pushing out there. You know? And like I said, I don't know who who who, will, who would want to believe your doctrine. I have no clue because that's not even close. To, or it's not even a close resemblance of these scriptures, man. So I don't know who wants to follow you, man. I guess you probably got some people out there that want to do that. But it ain't going to be brothers in GMS that are, that are scored in these scriptures. It ain't going to be that. You know, you're going to get, you're going to get some next bug out there that want to cleave to you. You know, and just, just be a, one big bug out crew, you know. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 2, it says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Okay, you're one of these guys. Okay, that did not want to endure sound doctrine. You didn't want to listen or keep the doctrine given to you by your elders and apostles. You didn't. In fact, you wanted to change everything. You wanted to change, you know, their place and everything. You're talking about Elder Apostle Taha's Enoch and he's not poor and all this kind of stuff. Like, even Apostle Taha told you that he's not poor. Okay, it's just something that maybe some, some brothers... See it in the spirit that, that that could be him, but none of us is gonna tell you or teach that because this this is something that's an opinion at the end of the day, you know, and you and but you you can see everything that like you see all spiritual, you know, all spiritual matters you can see it all. So you know you you identifying this person, that person, your 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 guy next to you, he's this guy, he's over, he's he's one of the twelve, he's he's over all the Benjamin and all this kind of crazy shit. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Where did you get this from? <laughs> you know. But anyway, right? It says um, for for the time will come when they will not enjoy sound doctrine. So you didn't want to keep the, the the teachings that were given to you, right? But after their own loss, right? You must have some some love for for, for Africa because you know you made the whole motherland Africa. And you know, this is okay, right? If you see this video, you may or may not. I don't know. I don't really care, but you know, if Israel, uh, if all these different places that uh, captivities, captivities, for instance, right? Rome was uh was had um, a Jerusalem, right, as his, as his province kind of thing, right? And but we we left Rome, but Rome is is uh, uh what am I trying to say? We left Jerusalem, right, and fled into Africa. So where did we flee to? If 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 Jerusalem is all the way over in the, on the on the west coast, okay, was was Rome's influence all the way over to to the west coast? And where did we flee if we were just there? I don't. There's you know there's so much things that 
I don't understand. Okay, I, I still don't understand. I don't even understand what tribe you're from because that is confusing. You're confusing. You're bringing confusion. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm confused. Right, but you know, it, it, it. Us brothers know there's there's just too many holes, too many things wrong to even bother to address it. But you know, is, what can you expect from 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 bogats? You know, how can you make sense of a bogat? You know. Anyway, uh, for the time will come where they will not enjoy sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heat to themselves teachers having itching ears, right? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, unto unto stories, unto ru rubbish things that you know, fiction or, or science fiction or whatever it is. Yeah, fiction, right? Things that are not real. Right, but watch thou in all things endure afflictions, endure afflictions. You know, you don't want to do that, right? Do the work of the evangelist, make proof, full proof of thy ministry. Okay, but like I said, you're not teaching the scripture; you're teaching some other, other doctrine, some other thing. Right, not continuing the things that you were taught. It's Matthew chapter 15 verse 7 says, ye, ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but, in their, their, but their heart is far from me. Right? That mean their mind is far from them, from him. But in vain they do worship me, teaching doctrines, for doctrines the commandments of men. And that's what you're doing. You're teaching the commandment of men, or of yourself even, right? Because so you never got it from nobody else, right? So he, he called the multitude and said unto him, Hear and understand. Not that which goeth, not that which goeth into into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. All these words that you're speaking, all these doctrines, and you know, all these revising, all these remixing that you're doing, the scripture, man, it, it, it's defiling you, man. You know, it's defiling you. Okay, because you're not coming with the truth. Okay, you're 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 uh, um, subverting truth. Okay, you're tainting, you're trying to take truth, you know. This is Sirach chapter 3, verse 24. It says, For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. Right? And that's what it is with him. He's, you know, he, he, uh, he, uh, having too many dreams, right? Or, or, or whatever. He thinks things are speaking to him. <laughs> and they are, they are speaking to him, man. But again, it's just Satan. Satan is speaking to him, giving him all these all this madness, right? So many are, are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. See, that's why you can't judge righteous judgment. You can't decipher these scriptures, right? Right? It says, "Without eyes, thou thou shalt want light. Profess not knowledge, therefore that thou hast not." You ain't really got it. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last. Right, again, you're just being stubborn. Okay, you think you're right. Okay, you you think you're the guy that's set up to, to, to raise Israel up. No. Okay, again, you're, you're a sapling, man. Okay, that was supposed to be un under, under the elders and apostles. The elders, right? That's what is true. You're meant to be underneath, man, learning. But you're stubborn and rebellious. Right, a stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loveth danger shall perish therein. So that an obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness have taken root in him. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable, and an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. Water will quench a flame of fire, and arms make atonement for sins. He that requireth good, Turns is uh, good turns is mindful of that which may come hereafter, and when he falleth, he shall find a stay. All right. So again, it's just, it's just with the vain opinions, man. You know, all these all these revelations you're supposed supposedly getting, it's just it's, yeah, it's just saying it's fucking with your mind, man. All right. I'm gonna close out with this Titus chapter one verse nine. So holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught. 
You failed. You didn't keep the faith. You failed, man. You didn't. You didn't finish the race. You, you took 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 a different route. <laughs> you know, took a different route. It's going going some some next location. Going to next some destination. You know, it's not going to 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 the finish line. Okay, you've gone off track. Right, it says, holding fast the faithful word, faithful word as it have been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine, which you don't have, both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Okay, and that would be you. You'd be a part of that, right? Whose mouths must be stopped. Okay, and they will be stopped. All this, all these lies, all this bullshit will be stopped at some point. To subvert whole houses, but it, but but, it, but does it tell us to go and stop these mouths, to, to to end them? No, it doesn't. It just will be taken care of. The Most High will take care of that. All right, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake, you know, and you know the, the suppliers to these other groups like IYC and you know uh, ICBK, you know, because they're into their, their money making machines, right? And so they 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 don't teach the truth, right? Because they're more focused on making money. Okay. So of of uh, of one of themselves, of one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the creations are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, right? And, and that's that's what's going on right now. Right, not giving heed to Jewish fables and made up stories, right? And commandments of men that turn from the truth. Men that have turned from the truth. That would be you. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieved is nothing pure. You you have too many doubts in you, man. That's why you couldn't receive this truth in the first place. And this is why you got your own doctrine now, because you're not really a man of faith. You don't be, you don't you didn't believe in the word when you heard it. You didn't have faith in it. You know, but you convince yourself that you're in this truth somewhere because you still hold a Bible in your hand, but now you're just remixing everything. You know, the gospel according to Ashana. <laughs> right? You know, the same with these other camps. They do the same thing. Okay. Um says so unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but they but even their mind and conscience is defiled. You're gone. Right? They profess that they know the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, but in, in works, they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. All right? And that's just it, man. You know, that's what the, you know, this is what this case is. What are you loading? You know, oh, the guys are gone. All right? But, but yeah, that's all, that's all it is. All right? So, yeah, so I'm going to end it there. Lord, this has been edifying. And I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So the next time I say Shalom.